Welcome to my channel if you're new here girl shout out to you and of course if you're returning bestie you're the real mvp if you're new i'm stacy hi hello what's up please stick around join the stun again we're a happy bunch over here and give this video a nice big thumbs up i would really appreciate it so guys today i'm starting a vlog um you know it's vlog must going on and i'm trying to give you guys as much content as i possibly can so with that being said i am starting a vlog today now i do have um as you guys can see i don't know if this video would go up before that one but anyways yesterday i attended my friend um a really good friend of mine business launch she launched her business called radiant scent it's a candle business and i couldn't be more happier i picked up a few purchases which i will show you guys what i picked up but today i have another uh, brand launch again and listen i'm here for it because it's all black female owned mommy owned businesses which is very dear to my heart being that i am a you know small business owner mom business owner as well <laughs> absolutely love it so i'm headed to another one this one here is for a skincare brand it's called de la beauty um i will be taking you guys along with me but now i'm gonna be doing my makeup because you guys can see i have a new hairstyle um and i'm gonna try to do a glam to match it the skin looks good though absolutely love the skin um anyways guys before i do that i'm gonna be having a treat i love chocolate do you like chocolate this is by godiva signature it says this is uh almond and honey and it just comes like this and i'm gonna be indulging in a sweet treat in the spirit of christmas you should do it too it brings you so much joy i just love chocolate mm. that's good that's good that is so so good let's get into the makeup so fresh so clean classy classic like giving everything it needs to give i love it i don't have any eyeliner though i left all the eyeliners over at my glam studio but it's okay we're still cute guys i picked up this lip gloss yesterday at a warehouse sale it's by nars these are so good this is the lip gloss brilliant um and it's in the shade no regrets and we have no regrets about this look today <laughs> i love it it's so soft so buttery and just so it's like the perfect nude i absolutely love it i love it it's giving what it needs to give Pick it up, pick it up guys, you won't regret it. Let's go get dressed. Guys, we're on our way, and I think I'm running a bit behind because the event started at two and I'm just leaving out. I really wanted to grab some flowers as well, but time is against me. So I'm hopefully, wherever I'm going, there's like a flower shop, a metro or something where I can pick up some bouquet to take to the event. Honestly, I don't know where I'm going, you know. It's the first time I, I have an address and I don't really know exactly what the, where the area is. I usually have an idea of whenever I'm going somewhere today I'm depending on my GPS which I don't know how I feel about that but it's okay we'll get there um, how do you guys feel about this hair though the girl is switching things up from the boring black that I always do <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about it yet but then again every time I do color I usually take about a day or two before it grow on me and I decide if I like it or not so it's fine I love the makeup though but yeah, let's let's get to this place as soon as possible. So I've arrived at the party. And the party remember I told you guys it started at 2 o'clock. So Turns out I am the first one to arrive and I'm 30 minutes late. So, <laughs> anyways, it's a really nice building, so I was taking some photos and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, they get here soon because I don't really know this area and I want to kind of leave before it gets dark. <laughs> that 
way I don't get lost. But yeah, it's really nice. Nice building. I love it. event was amazing it was really really top tier top tier for elegance for product 900 <laughs> it was really good shout out to De La beauty shout out to the wonderful founder congratulations again thank you for having me i will link their social media handle in the description box so you can check out their skincare check it out guys they have some really good product and i've been using them for like they have serums really good serums like three of them i have three of them and i've been trying um trying them for the past month or so and as you can see as you can see okay so definitely give them a try you would not regret it um so right now i literally just came back in the house um i'm about to eat something because i didn't realize that i didn't eat much i just had breakfast and then i went to the event so i had breakfast like seven o'clock this morning went to the event had some refreshments some light refreshments and then here i am so i picked up some chinese food um this is fried rice and chicken on top so i'm gonna indulge in this right now and see if i can find a movie to watch and i will catch you guys in the next few slides hey guys it's sunday <laughs> Last time you guys saw me was last night when I came back from the event. It's Sunday afternoon currently. Vlogmas day three. And I didn't post a video as yet. But don't worry, I'm working on that for you guys. So if I don't post a video tonight, I'm posting one tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully. So right now I'm off to a store. Um, there's something that's on my wish list. A product by Dior that's on my wish list this year um, that I really want I saw it on a youtubers um, vlog and thought it would be a really good addition to my skincare routine but it's $70 and <clears throat> I kind of want to get a sample before I purchase that product because $70 isn't cheap for a skincare product yeah so I'm gonna go get a sample. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can get a sample. I don't know, most places would give you a sample. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go see. And then I'm gonna show you guys a few things that are that's on my Christmas wish list. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to find content for us to post so that we can stay, you know, we can stay on track for our Vlogmas our vlog must record in. Hold on guys. Oh my god, you guys. Sorry. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yo, why is my oh okay? I was just gonna say why is my light on? Okay, you guys can see me, right? Okay, good. Okay. Oh, what is it? Okay, as I was saying, yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can get a sample of these products. Hopefully. So I wanna get the um Dior, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. So I tried the original one. Did not like it. I still have it home on my vanity. So the other day I went to the mall and I smell like I briefly smelled the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet and it smells really, really nice. So I kind of added that to my Christmas list. I want to get it, but I also want to get a sample. So let's see if we can go get some samples. And as I was saying that um, there's a few other things that's on my list. So I will see if I can see them and I will show you guys and yeah. As I said, I'm doing Vlogmas this year and I'm trying to find content to post, you know, in the in spirit of Christmas, okay? Because you guys aren't telling me what you want to see. So, <laughs> I'm going to make the content, okay? Actually, a few people told me, to, um, a few, there was a few requests, video requests, I lied. There's a few video requests that I haven't got around to as yet. But I'm trying to do things that are like quick. You guys can't even see me. Okay, I will catch you guys when I get there.
guys we're back in the car i went in there as you can see i showed you guys a few products that's on my wish list but one product in particular that i really wanted um they were out of stock and the lady says she don't know when they're coming back in stock that proves how good the product is it's the dior um off and on mousse it's like a cleanser and they don't have samples surprise surprise everybody cheap these days even the brands them they may even send in samples or anything like what is this anyways um i think i might have to go to the mall and and get it and just take the punch just do it because i seen it on a review online sorry on youtube and it looked really good instantly when i said i'm like whoa i want that so i think i'm just gonna get it either way i can get it at the bay and if I don't like it or for whatever reason, if it doesn't go with my skin, I can just return it and get my money because they have your money back policy within 30 days. Yeah, I think I should just do that. But anyways, as you guys can see, I showed you a few perfumes that's on my list. Um, honestly, when I'm purchasing perfumes, I tend to stick with what I know. Um, and then there are times when I want something different. All the perfumes that I'm smelling, they just seem so basic. There's nothing special. Like I'm trying to, I want to buy, a, so, so I want to buy a Chanel perfume, right? I have one at home. It's from the Chance Collection. Is that the collection? I don't know. Or if that's just the name. Anyways, um, I think it's the collection because they have a few of them. But I don't like it and it's just sitting on my dresser there. And I'm like, yo, they hype up Chanel so much. Like, why is it that I cannot smell, like I can't sniff one that I really really love no i went in the store tonight and i i tried the gabriella and that smells really really nice really nice so i think if i were to buy one i would probably go with that one um there was a few more there but i didn't really want to try them because you know once i find something i love i kind of don't want to forget the scent i took a card so i didn't really sniff any others but i think i will go with that one the gabriella Cause that smells really nice the mademoiselle i know is one of their best seller but i don't know if i like it too much um but let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried any and if you like any and would you recommend it to me but um yeah and the blooming bouquet i want that i'm gonna get that because i think it's it was the same it, my experience was the same with dior i sniffed a few of their perfumes and I really did not like the ones that I sniffed until I came across the blooming bouquet and I'm like yes this is definitely me it's more floral and very sweet which is the kind of perfume I gravitate towards so that's on the list I probably would end up buying the YSL again because I really the Libre I love that um, and the Valentino Roma yeah but anyways guys I'm gonna head back home I'm, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here <laughs> I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't want to make it too long or anything. I've been talking now for about three minutes. Sorry, guys. Anyways, if you haven't already done so, give me a nice big thumbs up. And yeah, let me know any perfume suggestions that you would recommend um, that you really, really like. Nothing basic, please. Nothing basic. And um, yeah, I will catch you in my next uh, vlog. Bye.